Okay guys, so the Fisher Cats, it's been crazy. So if you don't know what a Fisher Cat is, which most people don't, because they're like not that common, and they have a pretty small range in North America, but they're in the weasel family. They're basically like a big weasel. And we had one in our yard last year um, in a tree next to our shed. Maybe I'll pull that up and show you guys. Wildlife, okay. So our red shed, there's a tree if you go to the right. It's like pretty skinny. So up in there, there's a hole. We found like a fisher cat would like be like hanging out in there all the time. I don't know what she was doing. Um, so we got this crazy wildlife cam that now we've been using on stream and she like disappeared and never came back. And so we were like, oh, Pickle Ricky's here. <gasps> oh my God, there, is that live, Rob? Is this for real? Is this an old scene? Pickle Ricky's in a meeting, so. Like, are we seeing this for real right now? Oh my God, you guys. We just saw the Fisher cat. <laughs> Oh my god! So that was the male. And he lives under our effing shed. So that was the male. He's huge. Um, we think he's probably like 15 pounds. And he's crazy. Like, he basically sleeps under the shed. Which, by the way, I was out putting our compost by that tree like less than a week ago. I was just hanging out. I was I was on the like gravel part. So I was like right next to him. Okay, so that's the male. So he lives under the shed, but then sometimes you saw the tree he came down on. There's a tree further back to the right. He just sleeps there outside. Just like all day. He'll just be there all day, be there all night. Um, he just hangs out in the open which I mean, I don't even understand. And so we know he's there, but like our neighbors aren't that far, like over behind this. And they have like no idea what's going on. So the female is actually in that tree. She's hanging out in there and she's tiny. She probably is like five to seven pounds and she's way cuter. Like I've been calling the male Fisher Cat Bobo because he's like sort of ugly. <laughs> um, I think he's ugly and his fur isn't as nice as the females. Basically what happens is he waits for her to come down from the tree and then he like attacks her. But sometimes she'll attack him and she's like, get, get out of here, get out of here, I hate you. And they make like, these crazy, so the noises they make is like a squeaky bicycle, almost. But I can hear it, like it's woken me up. They're always up at like 1.30 in the morning, um, but now they're like active in the day. And so we actually saw them mating the other night for like 45 minutes. Um, it was pretty aggressive and I would not recommend it. <laughs> would not recommend watching. So yeah, the female just stays up in the tree cavity. So we have um, footage from the other day where the male basically goes up the tree now and the female pokes her head out. She's like, who dare, who dare, who dis? And then the male is like, oh no, it's just me. And then he like runs away. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> but now I think our compost is like out of order. Like, I'm not going out there. Like, our compost bucket is full inside. I don't want to go out there because you would literally be in between the male and female fisher cats. So I'm happy we got to see them. But it's, and that's how it always is. Like, we'll just have the wildlife camera up on this computer here. And I'll just, like, come in the kitchen. I'll be like, the fisher cats are out. Oh, my God. We better get babies. Two hours later. So I was reading and that the baby she has this year will be from last year's mating because they have delayed implantation. So these babies 
won't be born until next year. So I think this is the same female. We had one that was around last year in the same hole, but then she disappeared. Um, I think it's the same female. And last year we saw her um, down the road from us, but only had one baby. So I don't know if she's like a younger Fisher cat because I think their litters are like four-ish on average. It is crazy. And I was reading they can apparently get pregnant or like mate like a few days after giving birth. So like, I don't know if there's babies in the tree right now, 